morning was so cold that I was afraid to take my GoPro out because I thought the battery would die instantly. <laughs> There's so much frost inside my tent that when I pulled my trekking pole out, it stayed pitched and walking was equally cold. I also found a Pop-Tart in a bear box. So I'm not gonna say that fixed everything, but it definitely helped. There's not really much of a trail. Right now it's better than it was. This morning in the dark, it was a little bit hard. <laughs> it was very cold this morning. It was definitely below freezing. There's ice on the inside of my tent and inside my emptier water bottles. This is me getting ready. And this is about it every morning. <laughs> It's always a little bit demoralizing when you're hiking next to a road that's going to exactly the same place you are. This is a tuna at six o'clock in the morning kind of day. Woke up at like three. <laughs> but I didn't actually wake up because I never fell asleep. It was so cold. Like laid in my sleeping bag until four, shivering. And then finally I decided I'm just gonna get up and start moving. Someone told me that it was warmer down in the Grand Canyon than it is up here on this plateau. Maybe I can get there today. Still got a really long way to go. Now it's light enough for you to see my amazing detachable hood. It was so cold last night. <laughs> It was brutal. The sun is shining almost. I was given faulty information by another hiker going northbound about a water source and maybe it was there and I just didn't see it. I had rather than five miles to do before water 20 but then I ran into um, two people they were just like walking down the trail the same direction I was and I told them what was going on and um, they both were like oh my gosh we have water in the car and you can totally fill up so huge shout out to Ellen Ryan this is my first glimpse <laughs> Yesterday was really long. Uh, I hiked 36 and a half miles. I'm sure my face is like super puffy. I decided to sleep in a little bit this morning. It's actually getting light out. Um, now I'm just journaling because I didn't do that last night. And that's my day. I'm in the Grand Canyon.
camels on, on the long trail. It was the ultimate steer master. I was wrong. The Grand Canyon is. Beautiful morning after a pretty stressful day yesterday. <laughs> I walked through a few prescribed burns, so much smoke, and I was really scared. I thought it was like a real forest fire. <laughs> so, great campsite. <laughs> Taking advantage of a little sun, doing a dry out. Today's a good day. Every day is a good day. But today is especially good because I'm three years sober. Last night I was feeling really down and kind of lonely. My tent was frozen this morning and I had some service so I turned on my phone and I just like reached out and it was so amazing, the support and the love. entire time I've lived in Colorado. <laughs> possible because there are relatively few naturally occurring water sources on trail so huge thank you to Tubbs Ranch um, this is an amazing water source Another morning in the dark. Just eating my jalapeno Cheetos for breakfast. It was really cold last night. No surprise. I was at like 7,700 feet. Now I'm higher than that uh, to get water. Probably around like 8,700 feet. It's somewhat downhill to Flagstaff, but like not much. Sometimes on trail, I just feel super homesick. And it's usually like right after leaving a town, I like haven't left the gravitational pull of Flagstaff yet, I guess. Yeah, it's just like stepping out into the unknown again. And there's like no people. But I have a lot of support back home. I try to just like remember that. When all else fails, I just talk to the trees. All the pain of this morning was worth this moment because I have cell service here. Food for buff. Is this even the Arizona Trail anymore? Where am I? So can enjoyment. Of 
course, I just had to do the 2,000 foot climb before I called it a day. Pretty exciting though. Another beautiful morning out here on the Arizona Trail. Those otzels are kind of kicking my ass. <laughs> recipient of the most amazing trail magic this like highway underpass god I don't even know what highway that was <laughs> whatever highway goes into Payson I was freaking out because I don't think I packed enough food for this section and my hiker hunger is like finally arrived and I was trying to figure out what to do and I looked down and there's a tub of food <laughs> It said public on it and it was for hikers. So whoever left that, thank you. Very, very grateful. So I just broke camp. Today I'm gonna resupply. It was cold last night. It was pretty warm right now. things to say about Roosevelt Lake Marina. I ran into my friend Roadrunner again and I packed out a foot long hot dog. <laughs> I should be set for like 85 miles. Hi biggies. Superstition gets 10 out of 10 for wildernessy vibes. We've got thorns. We've got barely there trail. We've got steep parts. There was a creek. It generally just takes longer than you think. <laughs> but really beautiful. I think something through hiking as a whole, but also and especially the Arizona Trail, have taught me that things are always changing. If they suck now, they will get better. Last night I camped in this canyon 
and I guess I camped right where like all of the javelina typically travel <laughs> because there was like a horde of them coming and they were so loud. They sounded like cats screeching, and they were like snorting, and grunting, and it sounded like chewing on something like sloppily. It was gross. And I was like really afraid they were gonna run my tent over because I've heard that they're kind of blind. Got out of my tent and started screaming and barking and throwing rocks into the dark. I actually like think I lost my voice. <laughs> That was my night after 32 miles yesterday. <laughs> when you take the shade you can get out here, even if it's right next to the power lines. <laughs> I just took an amazing break at this huge trough back there called Mountain View. The shade behind it was amazing. And now it's kind of cloudy, which is so awesome. Is that really necessary? Oh. I need to switch back. I know. I don't categorize razors as vehicles. They're just loud angry sounding dust machines. You know, I say that, but a couple people in razors just passed me and, you know, they always wave. They're always nice. I was just being grumpy. In general, Arizona's roads seem to be steeper then it's trails. This road gains almost a thousand feet in a mile. No switchbacks. Climb up Mount Lemon. It's no joke. You know, I appreciate this climb. It's very direct. Leaving Mount Lemon, Summer Haven, and back in the Ponderosa. I have missed these trees. Tucson. I got to see my good friend Sarah from Asheville, North Carolina. Now I'm back on the trail and I've got this sunrise hike in Tucson. There's just these 
moments on trail when I'm like so overcome with joy and I'm so happy to be here and I feel so lucky, like so privileged to be able to walk through these places. It's pretty incredible. I just have to give um, Sprouts Grocers some credit because their instant coffee is delicious. Like it also could be because I washed my Talenti jar when I was in Tucson, so it no longer tastes like ramen. Went to the top of Mica Mountain just because it's so close. I'm loving, I'm loving the Ponderosa as per the usual. I'll never take you for granted again. All night um off and on and then this morning it got super windy and rainy and now i'm gonna go walk in it and i'm kind of excited <laughs> this is just like a gray windy wet morning and like too many of these in a row kind of sucks but like right now it's just kind of exciting and different we'll see how i feel in like two hours rained a little longer than I expected it would <laughs> and it got a little chilly it's also a pretty exposed walk today but I did stop in that underpass that has like the snake fang and I didn't take a picture because I was really cold and wet such a pretty afternoon this morning I caught myself in that headspace it's cold and windy and rainy and it's gonna be like this forever definitely wasn't forever <laughs> but I do that still and I just need to remember my own advice things are always changing bad stuff comes and goes and it wasn't even bad because it made for like such a pretty afternoon Put wet socks on. Oh, my shoes are so wet. And my tent is full of condensation. Well, I did it. I put my socks on. It's kind of chilly. This is just what it is today. It's hot, it's dry, I'm just going to do the miles. <sighs> it's been a morning. I'm just feeling pretty tired. <laughs> a little bit cranky. I'm just going to keep walking. 
all this lovely cow poop. We just got dropped back off at the trail by Judy. Um, I got to spend yesterday with her showering, reflecting, like getting ready, resupplying for this last 72 mile chunk. It is gorgeous out here. I'm super I think cow excrement is an acquired taste. I'm not sure how many long trails it'll take before I acquire it, but I don't like burping and tasting cow shit. Most of the water's been great though. Yeah. This, this is a rugged day. Wow. I'm really tired. Up and down and up and down. This is it. It's the final morning.